Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. This video will continue our hydro distillation series. Last one, I talk about making the ginger essential oil and hydrosol by doing the hydro distillation. And in this video, I'll talk about the cypress. It is similar with the pine trees, cypress, essential oil, and hydrosol also contains a major chemical called alpha pining, the same with the pine essential oil. In this video, I will demonstrate the whole process from the harvesting the plant material, preparation, getting ready for the distillation, and collecting the oil and hydrosol. When we are collecting the material, remember, collecting the parts has the highest essential oil. Like the ginger, we use its roots. For the pine or cypress, we use its leaves. The leaves has the highest oil content compared with its, uh, the branch and uh, the resin. So don't use the resin or branch for the pine or cypress essential oil production and use its leaves. After harvest the material, do a simple preparation and take off the, the bigger branches, only use the twig and the leaves for the distillation and pack them well in your the distiller and make a right ratio between the material and the water. When we are doing the hydro distillation, as I mentioned the last time, when I demonstrated you the ginger, you know, distillation with the ginger, the ratio between the plant material and the water is important to get the best yield of essential oil. And for cypress, we also use one to five. So I have 1.2 kilogram of the cypress leaves and I'm gonna need to add a six liter of water for the hydro distillation. Mm -hmm. Again, before the distillation, test the circulation, make sure it runs smoothly. When we are doing the distillation, the cooling water take away the heat, so you can condense the steam into the liquid. Um, when you collect more hydrosol, then you're gonna need a larger bucket with more cooling water. The circulation is stable, then I can turn on the heat, start the distillation. When we do the distillation, you can have a high heat in the beginning until it starts boiling, and then you turn back to the middle heat. Uh, the slower distillation can make uh, the extraction more efficiency. So now I just wait until the uh, steam coming out, and we are gonna show you how to collecting the hydrosol and the essential oil. If you have watched uh, our video for a while, you know this uh, little glassware called. It's an oil hydrosol receiver and a separator. So what it does is it can continuously collecting all the distillate. It could include the essential oil with the hydrosol. And because it has a chamber in the middle, so oil normally is lighter than the hydrosol so it will flow up and it will keep inside this main chamber and the hydrosol will go through this u-shaped tube and then it will go 
into the collection uh, container. So after the distillation started, you, we already see there's a layer of uh, the pale yellow of the separate essential oil floating on top of the hydrosol. So with time, there is more oil will come up, but at a certain time point, the oil will stop. But you can still keep making your hydrosol with time. Now I collected a two liter of the separate hydrosol and you can see a pretty good amount of uh, the essential oil. Uh, it's a uh, golden yellow color. I stopped the distillation and got to separate the oil from the hydrosol. <laughs> 